Welcome to the presentation of what's new in MBS plugin version 9.5. Today I want to show you three new things in our plugin. The first thing is our text positioning. So in the windows to edit a calculation or custom functions, we show here on the top right the current cursor position. So if you like to know which line you are, you can now exactly see which line you are. And if you make a comparison of some text and you like to know how much text is here, the plugin will show you here the length of the selection. Next, I would like to show you a few map kit functions. Here is an example from us where we can create a map view and you can move, you can zoom. If you want to get the coordinates for a rect angel, this example shows you how to place points on the map so you can exactly get the coordinates and if you like to edit them, you can even pick one and drop it somewhere else. Like this. The coordinates are stored in this example in a table and for every click into the area you will get a script trigger where you get the positioning of the mouse cursor relative to the window, to the control and even the coordinates here. And if you hit an item like this overlay you would get the identifier for the overlay. So you can define your own overlays on the map and react on clicks on them. You can also, in the new version of the plugin, use uh, your own pictures here for the pins, so you don't need to have our standard pins. And you can have different pictures for selected items and for dragging around uh, pins. And now the uh, big thing you may have waited for, and that's the function to add context or menu entries to the script workspace. So when you are in a script here, you have our nice menu here to copy the content, to enable disable script steps, to cut, copy and paste, and you can extend this menu with your own commands. And in our documentation we already have a couple of ideas for commands. So you define a calculation in FileMaker, which is run by the plugin when you choose the menu command. So you define a name and a calculation here. Let me just add this one. So plus, paste it. You see the formatted calculation here. We say evaluate and the plugin will remember this command and put it in the menu whenever we click here on the script steps. So greeting will show a message. Dialog. We got another command here which allows you to rename something. So let's just make a new script step. Set variable. Say dollar i is dollar i plus one. Okay. Oh, you notice that our plugin saw we didn't define i before. But nevertheless, uh, we want to use our rename script step. So we paste it here. It's um, The plugin will store the command again in the preferences file and we'll have it ready here to use in the script workspace. So we did copy this line get the XML, as you see here, we copy the line, we get the XML, then we do the replace, and we put back the XML and paste it back into the script. Here's another example for having a snippet ready to paste into your script. Again, I just installed the command 
with the data viewer and I can click here anywhere and just insert my for loop. In, in, those evol in those expressions you can use all the MBS commands, not just running menu but you can also show a dialog. And that's what the next command does. Copy paste and use. So let's see, we select a line here, index, we say search in a place, it will show a dialog and let's say we search for index and replace it with our new name and say test. And as you see we are again copied and pasted the new line. And here's another one. This inserts a JSON command, which can be very useful if you want to build some JSON with the built-in FileMaker JSON functions. You can just say insert set variable for JSON, and here we already put in a new line and a tab. So this line is formatted. And our final command here is very useful for everyone who wants to keep track of changes in the scripts. So let's paste it again. And now we just say here white script to desktop. Um, the plugin will write the current text of the current script in a text file on the desktop but you can choose whatever folder you want and then you can keep this folder where you put the scripts into your version tracking and you can see all the changes on the scripts over the time. I bet there will be soon someone who will write a little database to collect all those nice snippets here and then you can simply install them with a click of a script in a database. But if you have ideas on how to build useful commands for FileMaker, please don't hesitate to send us your snippets so we can put them here in the documentation and pass them to whoever wants to build a collection of useful context or menu commands. Thank you for watching.